Ahijah's prophecy against Jeroboam. First Kings 14, at that time, Jeroboam's son Abijah became very sick. So Jeroboam told his wife, disguise yourself so that no one will recognize you as my wife. <coughs> then go to the prophet Ahijah at Shiloh, the man who told me I would become king. Take him a gift of ten loaves of bread, some cakes and a jar of honey. And asked him what will happen to the boy. Jerob so Jeroboam's wife went to Ahijah's son home at Shiloh. He was an old man now and could no longer see, but the Lord had told Ahijah, Jeroboam's wife will come here pretending to be someone else. She will ask you about her son. She will ask you about her son for the for he is very sick. Give her the answer I give you. So when Ahijah heard her footsteps at the door, he called out, Come in, wife of Jeroboam. Why are you pretending to be someone else? Then he told her, I have bad news for you. Give your husband Jeroboam this message from the Lord, the God of Israel. I promoted you from the ranks of the common people and made you ruler over my people Israel. I ripped the kingdom away from the family of David and gave it to you. But you have not been like my servant David, who obeyed my command and followed it. But you have not been like my servant David, who obeyed my commands and followed me with all his heart and always did whatever I wanted. You have done more evil than all the more evil than all who live before you. You have made other gods for yourself and have made me furious with your gold, calves, and since you have turned your back on me, I will bring disaster on your dynasty and will destroy every one of you. I will bring disaster on your dynasty and will destroy every one of your male descendants, slave and free alike, anywhere in Israel. I will burn up your royal dynasty as one burns up trash until it is all gone. The members of Jeroboam's family who die in the city will be eaten by dogs and those who die in the field will be eaten by and those who die in the field will be eaten by vouchers. I the Lord has spoken. When I just said to Jeroboam, so I go on home and then when go on home and when you enter the city, the child will die. All Israel will mourn for him and bury him. He is the only member. He is the only member. of your family who will have a proper barrier for this child is the only good thing that the Lord the God of Israel sees in the entire family of Jeroboam. In addition the Lord will raise up a king over Israel who will destroy the family of Jeroboam. This will happen today even now. The Lord will shake Israel like a reed whipped about in a stream. He will uproot the people of Israel from this good land that he gave their ancestors and will sc scatter them beyond the Euphrates River. For there have angered the Lord with the Asherah poles that have set up for worship. He will abandon Israel because Jeroboam sinned and Israel and made Israel sin along with them. So Jeroboam's wife returned to Tiza and the child died just as she walked through the door of her home and all Israel buried him and mourned for him as the Lord had promised through the prophet Ahijah. The rest of the events in Jeroboam's reign, including all his wars and how he ruled, are recorded in the books, in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. Jeroboam reigned in Israel 22 years. 
when Jeroboam died, his son Nadab became the next king. Jeroboam rules in Judah. Meanwhile, Rehoboam, son of Solomon, was, take, was king in Judah. He was 41 years old when he became king, and he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem. The city of the Lord had chosen from among all the tribes of Israel as the place to honor his name. Rehoboam's mother was Nama, an Ammonite woman. During Rehoboam's reign, the people of Judah did what was evil, in the Lord's sight, provoking his anger with their sin, for it was even worse than that of their ancestors, for they also built for themselves pagan shrines and set up sacred pillars and asherah poles on every high hill and under every green tree. There were even male and female shrine prostitutes throughout the land. The people imitated the detestable practices of the pagan nations the Lord had driven from the land ahead of the Israelites. In the fifth year of King Rehoboam's reign, King Shishak of Egypt came up and attacked Jerusalem. He ransacked the treasuries of the Lord's temple and the royal palace. He stole everything, including all the gold shields Solomon had made. King Rehoboam later replaced them with bronze shields as substitutes, and he entrusted them to the care of the commanders of the guard who protected the entrance to the royal palace. Whenever the king went to the temple of the Lord, the guards would also take the shields and then return them to the guard room. The rest of the events, the re in Rehoboam's reign and everything he did are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. There was constant war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam. When Rehoboam died, he was buried among his ancestors in the city of David. His mother was Naama, an Ammonite woman. Then his son Abijah became the next king. This is the word of God.